Igalov, and I'm very excited to be here today to share some uh, thoughts and some experiences from an academic course that I've been leading at uh, Tel Aviv University. Um, for those who uh, don't know me, I'm an educator, lecturer, researcher, and free knowledge advocate. And I, I usually work in the intersection between education, technology, innovation, and openness. Um, at Tel Aviv University, I'm, I'm a lecturer and I'm also a PhD candidate and a research fellow at the Israeli Foundation. Um, and uh, I have some, some other uh, roles in the open knowledge um, world as well. Um, but today I want to focus mostly on uh, what I do at, at Tel Aviv University. And uh, I'll just mention briefly, although I'm not going to touch it um, a lot today in, in this session, um, that my PhD is also focusing on Wikidata as a learning platform, rather on the semantic web as a learning platform with Wikidata um, as a case study, as the main case study. And in this capacity, I was uh, really fortunate to basically study our community and uh, how Wikidata could be used as a learning platform. Um, this is my fifth year of my research and the last one. So hopefully by the end of this year, I'm going to finish my, my PhD and in the process of uh, basically uh, publishing some papers on it. But today, um, is mainly about uh, the academic course and the teaching that I'm doing um, of implementing Wikidata into, into the classroom. So I'll just mention briefly before delving into my course, just to give people um, an overview, is that just like with Wikipedia, I would say we have two main models for incorporating Wikidata. One is uh, what we call alternative assessment, we're incorporating Wikidata into an academic course as basically um, done as, as a, something on the side, right? So instead of doing an assignment in a, in a course that could be on anything else, we would give students some, some assignment uh, that is related to Wikidata. This is actually the model that is most prevalent. This is what most people who are working with Wikidata do. Um, and... Uh, in Israel, I was very fortunate to actually assist various uh, faculty members and researchers and uh, educators and lecturers to implement it in their own courses that are on different things. Um, I'm not going to talk about that so much, although if you have questions, you're ready. You're always welcome to ask me, uh, but I'm going to focus more on uh, the other type which is uh, where Wikidata is the main assessment, or rather um, where Wikidata is the main topic of the actual academic course. This is what we teach. And uh, I'm gonna use my course as an example. So um, let's delve into that. And this is a good time to say, uh, please uh, feel free to ask questions on the chat and I'll try to, to follow and, um, uh, maybe Ellie can help me monitor all of that while I'm presenting. So um, this is my course. It's called From Web 2 to Web 3, From Wikipedia to Wikidata. It opened in 2018 and uh, it was approved by the rector's office at the university, which is uh, unusual. It is basically available uh, to all the undergraduates at Tel Aviv University. So this is a course that hosts people from basically all disciplines. So very diverse, right? We can have people studying um, mechanical engineering and data science or computer, computer science with people learning the arts and coming from the humanities, basically. So a, a diverse class. I also want to mention that this course, when I launched it in 2018, it didn't happen, you know, just like that uh, in the middle of the night. It was based, the, the course model itself was based on a, a, another course that I opened at Tel Aviv University in 2013 uh, that's called Wikimed. And um, that was specifically focused on medicine and creating medical content on Wikipedia. And uh, working on that course and the, being this course being successful in itself, 
I wanted to scale that work. And the next step for me was to see if I can scale to an academic course that is not focused on a specific discipline. So basically trying to adjust the course model, which worked and was, it was good. I mean, I, I change things and iterate every single year, but in general, it worked. I mean, the course worked and the, the feedback from students were, were good. And so I wanted to uh, take it to the next level. So taking it to the next level, I was able in 2015 um, persuade the director's office that we need such a course for the whole campus. And we have an elective um, course system at Tel Aviv University where every undergraduate student has to take some elective courses that are outside of their own realm of um, expertise. So if you study, I don't know, uh, computer science or math, you'll have to take something from the humanities, etc. This course was somewhere in between, so everyone can take it. And so um, the university was thankfully um, acknowledging the importance of something like that and approved the course. Um, it wasn't until 18, 2018 where I actually featured Wikidata uh, to be part of the course. And the reason why it happened is because since 2015, I would say I have been incorporating Wikidata into my Wikipedia courses. So in the first year, I started with one session, just you know, an, a big overview, like a general overview of what Wikidata is in general. And in the second year, I it wasn't enough. So I, I started to experimenting with teaching them queries at, uh, as well because I didn't want them to just understand, I, I actually wanted them to, to do. And like every single year, I found that I'm adding more and more Wikidata sessions until I said to the university, you know what, this needs to be featured. This needs to be like a major part of the course. And this is how in 2018, we changed the course that was originally focused on Wikipedia to be this uh, from web two to web three, from Wikipedia to Wikidata. Um, so this is how the course came to be. Since then, we had three iterations in the course. Wait, sorry. And uh, I just wanted to touch briefly on the design guidelines that you can see in the slide here. But um, when I use the course model, so you, you can now kind of figure out that there is a course model that I'm using. And this model has already been used in three different courses. And each... Um, each course that we're implementing the course model in is basically a bit different and trying to scale. And the scaling with this specific course uh, where Wikidata was featured uh, was not only to have these general guidelines of active learning and trying to, you know, um, touch on different topics that are um, important in general, I think, for people who study in the 21st century and as, as digital citizens in general, you know, people need to know how to be smart consumers of knowledge, but we also wanted them to not only consume knowledge in a, in a smarter way, but also um, kind of use the platform as we're doing with Wikipedia to teach them actual or to, to help them improve different skills. And so these courses, uh, the course model, uh, the general course model that I'm using for all courses is trying to do that, trying to use the platform to not only make them smarter consumers of information, but also actively participate in creating free knowledge. And this brings about um, not only, you know, engaging with the community and a very much student centric focus, um, but also talking about some big issues that we have in the community, like diversity or uh, the lack, or let's say how how much work we still have around that and the gender gap and other knowledge gaps. And we're actively trying to do something in the course to, to fix it by focusing, let's say, on women, notable women in history and working on... Um, on articles on Wikipedia on them, but also on Wikidata. And so uh, in designing the model, just to finish this slide by saying, on designing the, the course model in general, all these things um, 
were important to me, including the ability to reuse the course. So someone who is not from Tel Aviv University, not speaking Hebrew, not you know doing what I specifically do, would be able to take the general um, construct, the, the general structure, and apply it to different disciplines, to different schools, to different universities, to different settings, to different environments, etc. So these were parts of the things that I cared about uh, in designing this course. Um, and the course also had some, some specific goals and learning objectives. Um, and I think I touched on, on some of them, but yes, we wanted to expose students to uh, different aspects of the web evolution, and we wanted them to actively engage in um, creation of knowledge, and we wanted to create high-quality content and basically expand the, the use of what we call in education OERs, open educational resources, which, by the way, in Israel is really not widespread. I know in other places in the world um, there is actual funding and lots of focus coming you know, from the top to, to implement um, OERs, but in Israel it's really not widespread. And even, even the discussion of open and openness is not that um, is not that uh, um, not that developed, not as developed as it should be. So um, that was like trying to to in a sense change the system from within. And uh, as I said, I wanted to use the platforms to show that we can help students sharpen academic skills and digital skills and develop uh, collaborative and communicative skills through working with our platforms and. I also wanted them to improve their data literacy, which is not a new thing in, in academic research, but I think Wikidata is definitely changing um, the way we can work with it, just like Wikipedia as a Web2 platform um, kind of changed the way that we can interact and actually teach these things. And finally, finally, I wanted this course to have a positive social impact in a way I wanted my students to think for a second, not just about themselves and kind of related to giving back to the community and, you know, talking talking about the importance of openness and all of that and copyrights and it has so many implications. So what are the outcomes of this course? Um, as I said, there, there have been three iterations uh, so far of the course and the fourth one is um, going to be this year. So far, 145 students participated, and I have to say that diversity is, really is key in terms of the classes because many students are um, uh, that that come to this course are Arabic native speakers, and we have some other um, mother tongues, so not only um, Hebrew uh, speakers. And uh, so far, you can see some of the um, data of what we've been uh, able to accomplish in this three um, iterations and uh, but, but mostly I'll share that most of the goals and objectives have been achieved and we can see the impact that it has on students and um, one thing that I didn't mention is that you know dur during uh, running these courses in the second one specifically COVID erupted and that completely changed the course uh, because from a physical course of meeting weekly, right? It's uh, like a semester uh, long course, I didn't mention, that has uh, 14 sessions. Um, and and so half of it is de dedicated to Wikipedia and half of it to Wikidata. Um, but uh, in general, COVID uh, drastically changed the way the course operates because uh, I during COVID, I basically turned it into an online course. And some of it is, it's a, an online course in a hybrid, um, in a hybrid uh, format. So some of the sessions have been pre-recorded and uh, the students will, will have to watch something like short videos and then answer questions to progress to that week's uh, a theme. And some sessions that are more practical would be uh, online. So we will meet uh, synchronously rather than asynchronously and uh, work together. And um, and so uh, even now that we got back to campus, this course is going to remain that. And uh, actually going online gave me an opportunity to 
record in advance many, um, many Wikimedians and Wikidatans specifically and kind of capture many of the stories from around the world, uh, which my students are um, seeing. So, and, and it was important for me to make that accessible um, online in general, because um, uh, I just wanted everyone to be able to, to learn from these experiences. So this, uh, this is in general how I designed it. The students uh, really love the course. Um, in short, oh, I see that uh, Daniel is um, needs to needs to begin. So I'll shorten this, and of course I'll upload this uh, presentation to to the page, etc. Um, but I'll note that uh, students like it, um, and we have uh, seen various um, benefits for students, and uh, so much potential for Wikidata as a learning platform. I'll just note that there are many, many challenges that unfortunately I'm not able to touch, but I think all of you working with Wikidata are aware of. And uh, we'll just finish with the fact that it is in fact helping to tackle data literacy issues and which is especially why I was completely honored to, to get the, the data literacy uh, award this year for this course. And um, I will stop or finish by saying that this is just the beginning. This is a proof of concept, and we really hope to see um, more institutions, you know, using uh, this type of models and implementing Wikidata into their, into their coursework, either in full, complete courses or as an alternative assessment, but either way, engaging with it and making sure students engage with it. I'm happy to answer questions. And um, we can do that in the etherpad later on, or you can contact me. And really sorry for the technical issues at the beginning. Um, thank you, everyone, for listening. And please join us. We have a global panel um, in, I would say, almost three at, at um, three um, UTC um, that is going to discuss the state of Wikidata and education. So hope to see many of you there. Thank you all.